Hi you guys, I'm glad you made it back. But if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to my GMC do-it-yourself repair channel. In my channel here, you'll see I have tons of videos that I'm sure that I have something in here that'll interest you. It doesn't take a lot of experience or knowledge and doesn't take a lot of tools. And one thing for sure, you're going to save tons of money. So before you go to a mechanic or the dealership, click on the upper right hand corner there and explore my channel. I'm sure I have something in there that's going to save you some money. But before we get started, please Please don't forget to like and subscribe this really helps my channel and by the way hit that bell and leave a comment and believe it or not if you leave a comment I respond back to you yeah I know I don't have a life so I have nothing else better to do all right thanks for joining back well just like you guys I was out driving around in my Yukon, enjoying the day, listening to some really cool music, kicking back, relaxing as I'm driving. You know what I'm talking about. Then all of a sudden, there's no sound coming out of my radio. Bummer. Has this happened to you? Well, let me show you what happened to me and how I fixed it. So let's get to work. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the hood open. And if you stand just where the driver's side tire is at and look in the engine compartment, you're going to see a box right where the red arrow's at. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to move this lid on top of this box. You're going to put your hand behind the box. You'll feel a little lip and you're going to pull upwards and it'll pop right off. Just remove it and set the lid aside. Okay, let's get the camera in position like if you were standing next to it. So just stand next to the fender there and you're looking down into the fuse box. Okay, if you look on the very bottom on the right hand side in the corner there, you're going to see a green fuse right where the red arrow's at. That's a 30 amp fuse. This is the fuse to your amp or your amplifier. If you notice your radio lights are on and it looks normal but not getting any sound, chances being your amp fuse is out. This is the fuse you want to pull and make sure it's not blown. Now, if you notice that none of your lights on your radio are on and you're not getting any sound, that could be you have a blown fuse on your radio. Now, your radio fuse is right above the other fuse. It's the one where the red arrow's at. That is your radio fuse. It's a blue fuse and it's 15 amps. Check that and make sure that that's not blown. If it is, replace it. Now, if you replace both these fuses and your radio still is not working, you may want to take it into a shop. It may be something more serious. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.